Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we're excited to present our itinerary for traveling through Vietnam, a beautiful country with a rich culture and history. Over the course of the video, we'll be exploring some of the most breathtaking landscapes, sampling delicious cuisine, and meeting locals to learn more about their way of life. From the bustling streets of Ho Chi Minh City to the serene waters of Ha Long Bay, we'll take you on a journey through this vibrant and diverse country. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or simply looking for inspiration for your next adventure, we're sure you'll enjoy joining us as we explore Vietnam. So, sit back, relax, and let's embark on this unforgettable journey together. Upon arriving in Vietnam, we recommend starting your trip in Hanoi, the capital city. Our first stop is the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, where we can pay our respects to the country's founding father. The mausoleum is open to the public in the morning from Tuesday to Thursday and on weekends. Make sure to dress appropriately and follow the strict rules, as this is a solemn and respectful place. Next, we're headed to the Temple of Literature, which is known as Vietnam's first national university. The temple is dedicated to Confucius and his teachings, and it's a peaceful oasis in the middle of the bustling city. Here, you'll get a glimpse of Vietnam's ancient architecture and the beauty of traditional Vietnamese gardens. After all that sightseeing, we're ready for some delicious Vietnamese food. We're heading to Bun Cha Hung Lien, a local eatery famous for its Bun Cha dish. It's a traditional Hanoi dish that consists of grilled pork and rice noodles, served with fresh herbs and a dipping sauce. It's a must-try when you're in Hanoi. Our next stop is the Hanoi Old Quarter, also known as 36 Streets. This is the historic heart of the city, and it's filled with narrow alleys, street food vendors, and unique shops. Here, you can find everything from souvenirs to clothing and accessories, and it's a great place to explore and take photos. We're now headed to Hon Kiem Lake, which is considered the heart of Hanoi. The lake is surrounded by lush greenery, and in the center, you'll find a small island with Mok Sun Temple. It's a picturesque spot, and a perfect place to relax after a long day of walking around. That concludes our first day in Vietnam. On the second day, we suggest taking a day trip to the beautiful Ha Long Bay, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Ha Long Bay is one of the most beautiful and popular tourist destinations in Vietnam, with its towering limestone cliffs, emerald waters, and picturesque fishing villages. Our day starts early, as we hop aboard a traditional Vietnamese junk boat for a leisurely cruise through the bay. As we sail through the calm waters, we can't help but marvel at the stunning scenery that surrounds us. The limestone casts are simply breathtaking, and we can't wait to explore them up close. Our first stop is the iconic Tai Top Island, where we'll climb to the top of the hill for a panoramic view of the bay. The hike up can be a bit strenuous, but the view is absolutely worth it. From the top, we can see the entire bay, dotted with boats and kayaks. After enjoying the view, we head back down to the beach for some relaxation and swimming. The water is cool and refreshing, the perfect way to escape the heat. Next up, we head to a local fishing village to learn more about the traditional way of life here. We hop into a small bamboo boat and paddle through the village, passing by houses on stilts and watching locals go about their daily routines. It's a unique and eye-opening experience. As the day begins to wind down, we make our way back to the junk boat for a delicious seafood lunch. Freshly caught fish and prawns are grilled to perfection and served with rice and vegetables. Finally, as the sun sets, we head back to shore, feeling grateful for the unforgettable experience we've had today. On the third day, make your way to the charming ancient town of Hoi An. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is known for its well-preserved ancient architecture and rich culture, and we can't wait to show you around. First up, we're heading to the ancient town, where we'll start our day with a leisurely walk through the streets filled with colorful lanterns. These lanterns are a Hoyan specialty and can be found in almost every street corner, giving the town a magical ambience. Next, we'll visit the bustling Hoyan market. This is the perfect place to sample some of the local cuisine 
and pick up souvenirs to take back home. The market is filled with vendors selling everything from fresh produce to handmade crafts, so make sure to bring your bargaining skills. One of the highlights of Hoyan is the Japanese covered bridge, a beautiful and iconic landmark. The bridge was built in the 16th century and connects the Japanese community with the Chinese community. The bridge is a must visit when in Hoyan and provides a great photo opportunity. After the bridge, we'll head to the Thubon River, where we'll take a boat ride to explore the river and the surrounding area. The river is a peaceful escape from the busy town, and you'll get to see Hoyan from a different perspective. Finally, we'll visit one of Hoyan's famous tailors. Hoyan is known for its tailoring services, and many visitors come here to get custom made clothes. We'll learn about the process of getting clothes made and even have a chance to get something tailored ourselves. On your last day, head to Hokai Min City, formerly known as Saigon. This bustling metropolis offers a mix of modern skyscrapers and historic buildings. The vibrant city is known for its rich history, delicious food, and friendly people, and we're excited to take you on a tour of some of its most famous landmarks. Our first stop is the Notre Dame Cathedral, a stunning red brick building that dates back to the 19th century. Built by French colonists, it remains an iconic symbol of the city to this day. Right next door is the Central Post Office, a beautiful neoclassical building that was also constructed during the French colonial period. It's still a functioning post office today, but it's also a popular tourist spot because of its stunning architecture. Next up, we have Ben Than Market, one of the oldest and most famous markets in the city. Here, you can find everything from souvenirs to fresh produce to street food. It's a bustling and colorful spot that gives you a real taste of the energy of the city. Moving on, we have the War Remnants Museum, which provides a sobering and informative look at the Vietnam War from the Vietnamese perspective. It's a must visit for anyone interested in history and politics. Our final stop for the day is the Saigon Opera House, a stunning colonial era building that's home to some of the city's best performing arts. Even if you're not catching a show, it's worth taking a look at the outside of the building and the surrounding area, which is full of French architecture and charm. That concludes our four-day itinerary for Vietnam. Of course, there's so much more to see and do in this beautiful country, but we hope this gives you a good starting point for planning your trip. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel content. Thanks for watching. Safe travels.